Welcome to part 6 in a series of video tutorials on iPod repair. This video tutorial is going to teach you how to safely remove your iPod that has been frozen to your computer which is causing your computer to freeze and which is also causing your iTunes software to freeze. Now this is potentially a big problem because you really cannot remove your iPod in this uh, do not disconnect screen which I'm showing right here this is the screen that usually shows up actually always shows up when you connect your iPod to your computer and that is telling you not to disconnect it because it has a direct connection to your computer because it's trying to sync music or you're trying to update it or restore it so it's very important that you do not disconnect it while it shows this screen However, sometimes your iPod gets corrupt or your computer is corrupt or it crashes and sometimes you have a frozen situation and your iPod constantly flashes the screen like I'm showing here. It says do not disconnect and this do not sign constantly flashes. Now, even if you do forcefully remove it, uh, you still have another problem with your computer not being able to shut off. And then your iTunes is frozen. So, it's bad to shut your computer off by not going to the start menu we all know that and doing it the way you're supposed to it can damage the iPod if you forcefully remove it so the question is how do you remove it you have to remove it so I'm gonna show you how to do that right in front of me you see a picture of uh, a classic iPod anywhere from the first to fifth generation it's a standard click wheel uh, and I'm gonna show you how to get out of this screen which is the do not disconnect and safely do that without forcefully removing it now just take a look at the cursor I'm pointing to the click wheel which is on most iPods the center button within the middle of the click wheel is called the select button and the one right above it is the menu button now what you have to do is while the iPod is in that do not disconnect mode you hold down the select button and simultaneously hold down the menu button do this for about five six seconds and eventually what will happen is the do not disconnect screen will disappear and then a new screen will come up and it'll show the Apple icon now what's gonna happen is you're gonna physically see and listen your iPod is your I hard drive on your computer is going to start clicking and you're going to see that the iPod physically releases your computer from being in a frozen state your iPod is released and it safely disengages it now what you have to do is when this Apple icon shows it's only going to be there for, for a couple of seconds you have to quickly remove the USB cord from your computer because if you leave it in it's going to go right back to the do not disconnect because that's what the computer does when it detects it the do not disconnect sign goes up again because it's engaged so you have to quickly remove it right after you go through the options that I just showed you and once you do that your iPod will be safely disengaged you'll be able to shut your computer off your iTunes software will be released as well and you'll be back in business so if you have any questions or comments uh, please feel free to ask them. Please feel free to leave comments and thank you for tuning in.